What's going on everybody? Squeeze here and welcome to day one of 31 Nights of Fright. We're kicking things off today with a game called The Salvation Project. Let's get right into it. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome! Hi! My name is Seth, and today's Seth. public service announcement is dedicated to your fears. Seth the Frog. This program is brought to you by the Salvation Project. And what fear are we going to be discussing today? I have no idea. You tell me. Uh... The nuclear war. That's right. Satanism. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Satanism is a great danger to our citizens. It and sure we is. All should be on our toes. Okay. It's a danger to our souls, to our world, and our way of living. And this danger strikes right. where it hurts most. Our children. Oh, the children. Of course it is. Satanistic children walking down To make sure your kids are safe, you should locate the satanic objects in your household before it's too late. Right. The typical satanic object includes satanic audio tapes, satanic posters, or satanic books. Makes sense. Beware, <laughs> these can be hidden in plain sight. And on that, we wish your family luck in searching and destroying the threats inside your home. Oh be gosh. careful. Because if you don't care, they will. They? This has been a broadcast from the Salvation Project. Until next time, Seth out. Seth out. And that's the squeeze. <laughs> God, those eyes were just piercing. Okay. <gasps> this does raise a concern. Oh, now we're in. <gasps> I have to go get stuff out of Timmy's room. Timmy, I'm coming to your room. Uh, is this... I'm assuming I'm going the correct way. That's the bathroom. Timmy's room. A little dark. Oh, Timmy, what is this? Mootalica? I think not. Mentalica. Excuse me. What a terrifying poster. I better take it down. Now there are two more satanic objects to find. In his room? Or. Music? Oh. Not in my household, Tim. What else do you have hiding in here? Oh, no. A robe? If this isn't an indoctrination book, I don't know what it is. <laughs> Burn it in the furnace in the garage. I don't know what that was, but I took it. Ah, yeah, just burning my kids' belongings. Just another day in the life. Uh, let's find the garage. That looks like a garage door. I'm afraid to go outside. Okay, so that's the front door. Garage is here. Ew. Uh, well, let's get a little light going in here. No? Oh, oh. I have a furnace in here? Oh, wow. I do. I do. I did good. You done good, Karen. Done good. It's not burning. Nice car. That's a nice car. 
Yeah, I'm sure my son will understand. I'm just trying to protect him. I don't need to go. Oh, this was the door. I'm gonna go rest by the TV. You know, it was pretty exhausting. Jonathan Wazus gave us his inaugural speech. What's next? Seth! Hey, Seth! Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Seth, and today's public service announcement is dedicated to energy consumption. This program is brought to you by the Salvation Project. Yes. So, as we previously stated, energy consumption is an extremely important issue. However, sometimes we have to ignore it to protect ourselves from the evils of the world. As you all know, Satanism has started to rapidly grow in our communities. Since our last program, many of our viewers relate to us their successes of protecting their house from the devil's propaganda. But that is not enough. No, it's not. As Jeremiah 29.11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. The devil comes at the devil's eyes. hour. But using science, our specialists discovered that the correct time of the devil's hour is 8 p.m. Her <laughs> science. Specialist. The devil fears the light. Even the smallest darkness can bring the devil. So we shall shine the light on it and bring safety to our homes. We implore you, turn on every light in your home until 8 p.m. and make your house safer. The devil shall not pass. Be careful, because if you don't care, they will. This was a Salvation Project program. Until the next time, Seth out. Seth out. Let's go turn all the lights on. Energy consumption is a crisis, but so is Satanism. <gasps> it's almost 8 p.m. I'm lighting everything, what do you mean? Oh, I'm on a timer. Light switches. I'll hit every light switch in this house. <laughs> nice room. Oh, it's a big house. So let me make sure Timmy's safe from the devil. It's big. It's a very quiet house. Boosh! What the fuck is that? The devil? I'm walking real slow right now. Oh, he went towards garage. I'm flip that breaker. Oh. Not getting me today, bub. Whew, okay, I'm good. I'm good. I get scared too easily. Seth? Well, hello there, missus. Oh my god. Oh my god. I believe you found yourself in a bit of a situation. Uh, yeah, I would say so. Why? Mrs. This is an emergency, and a big one, I might say. 
Really? I came here to help you get rid of the demons in your home. I see you've been watching my programs and following them. I, you know, I'm a subscriber, yeah, you know, I like to take a look at what you got going Even on. Even if you're afraid of the nuclear war, it's not imminent and does not rely on your participation. <laughs> However, this problem does. Okay. Satan is very much real and is nearing your home. Perhaps you notice the signs already. The lights, your son's behavior, and however more that you don't notice. And I am here to help you with the protection of your home. Yeah, why is he coming after just me? Silly, I, do? I am helping everyone. I've already helped countless people, and you are just another lucky child of God who gets the special treatment. You're damn right. But hush now. It was hard for your nerves today already. Go to sleep now. I will guard it with my life. After you wake up, there is much to be done. Yeah, we're just not going to worry about it. Seth will protect me from that bull creature. Huh. We'll watch a little more television. Welcome, everyone. My name is Seth, and today's public service announcement is dedicated to the signs of Satan in your house. Hey. <laughs> This program is brought to you by The Salvation Project. As you should know, the devil is coming! And we should all be protecting ourselves and our loved ones from the devil. Check okay. your windows! Check your windows! Board them up! Board them up! My God. Yes, sir. Satan shall not pass! <laughs> Check your crosses! Make sure they are not inverted! Check your mirrors, cover them up! Uh, Satan yeah. shall not pass! Satan shall not pass! Satan shall not pass! Be careful, because if you don't care, they will. This was a Salvation Project program. Until next time, set Death out! out. Support up windows. Check the crosses. And... Mirrors? What Seth? a charmer, huh? Sure is an energetic fella. Oh, please. But he is right. You should get on your feet and start covering them windows. Maybe check your garage for instruments and materials. You're bound to... I also remember you having a cross in here nearby. As well as a mirror in your room. You remember? What do you So mean? what are you waiting for? Go, go, go! I will, Seth. I will do just that. Let me, let me get this light source right quick. Gotta be a little far away. <gasps> oh god! <sighs> That's so much better. There's one more rotate across around here. I'm assuming the cross is in my room, considering my son had all that Mentalica propaganda. I can uh, use this to cover up. No? I need materials. Tires. Garage. Am I going to use this tarp? Ah. Planks. Ah. I'm just skulking around with <laughs> ten planks of wood on my back. I guess so. Push! Seth, watch out! You think I'm scared of you? You're right. It's 
not even scary. What am I worried about? This is my room. Yes, that is my room. Oh! I feel a lot better now that those crosses are not inverted. Now I'm just going to board up the windows. Take care of some business. And then Seth will tell me what else I need to do. Boom. Two. Three. Four more windows. Let's see. And I have monstrous footsteps. Let's get in here. Seth, honey. Doing this for your protection. Yeah, board that one up. Two more, they're probably in my room. Let's get it. Interesting. That's another piece of that picture. Interesting. So where is the last window? What is this room? Who, who do I have sleeping in here? Just seems desolate. That's it. What about mirrors? Huh. What? I thought, I thought that was my door. keep me down. Can't keep a good Christian down like that. Oh, Seth, what should I do, Seth? I see you have completed your mission. I did. And most importantly, you are still alive. I am. I was attacked. I am not insensitive. I'm just doing my job. And my job is to keep you safe. Okay. I'm sorry. A little stressed out right now. Mrs. You should not anger the one who gives you salvation. Holy you look tired. Crap. You should go to sleep. Go to sleep. Yes, sir. Mr. Seth. Holy. Hey crap. there, Mrs. I see you're back again for the daily wisdom. Oh, this isn't. Oh, no, no, no. This isn't right. You are under attack. I am. Your life is under attack. It is. Your soul is under attack. It is. We have to go for the nuclear option. You have to call for help. What do I do? Luckily, our manager knows the correct ritual to summon a guardian angel for your home. Okay. Do it now. Do it now. Okay. What's happening? I don't want to play this game anymore. What's happening, Seth? You look different. Focus now. Get the chalk and candles from storage. Lighter from the kitchen and don't forget the lighter. The storage room is right across the corridor. Then, and only then, get back to me. And... What the hell did you do to my house? Okay. 
Got the lighter. I'm gonna go get the stuff out of storage. It's right across. I'm just gonna go right across and go get them. I'll be right back. I'm just gonna grab the stuff. Make sure I got everything. I think I did. What's the last piece of the picture, I think. I'm just gonna go right across the hallway, right across the hallway, not even looking. Nope. I'm back! That's it! Now draw the sacred pentagram and place the candles on the edges of the Forsaken Star. The Lord demands it! The Lord is coming! That doesn't sound like the right Lord, sir. Um. But Seth knows best. Yes! Yes! Now the time has come! Your soul will be ours! The Salvation Project, it is finally completed! The Hollow oh Star has awakened, and you were its originator! Perish, you naive witch! And succumb to the will of our Dark Lord! Oh! Wait, what? Was it a dream? Ugh. Can I answer the phone? Oh, that was cheap! That was cheap! But that was good. That was quick. That was short, sweet, to the point. I don't feel saved. Just gonna throw that out there. <sighs> I hope you enjoyed day one of 31 Nights of Frights. I will be posting 30 more scary games within 30 days. Happy October, happy spooky season, and I will see you guys in the next one. Squeeze out.